What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Welcome to another one of those videos where I announce I am doing something slightly, no, quite ridiculous. I mean, I even wondered whether or not it was a good idea to film this video right now because you would assume that someone that is 31 days <laughs> away from doing the toughest challenge of their life would know more. <laughs> I'm bringing you along from day one. We're starting again, we're a novice again. In 30 days time, I will be getting on a plane, going to Egypt and taking part in the half marathon de Saab. and have not heard of HMDS or MDS because there's different distances. It's basically an ultra marathon, although it sounds like it's a half marathon, it's an ultra marathon covering a distance of 120 kilometers. It's spread over four days, you run three of them, you're in a desert, you camp overnight with a backpack and you take everything that you will eat, sleep, live with on your back. <laughs> it sounds so weird even me saying this out loud. Sorry, let me just give you context by the way. Two weeks ago, I did become an Iron Man. And again, I know I'm gonna say this a lot, but I cannot express to you guys how thankful and grateful I am. Honestly, the, the comments are just, I knew I had your support, but then <laughs> reading your comments and messages after, especially the Iron Man video is, is leaving me without words, like I have no words to express how grateful I am. I'm so far from over that day by the way. So yeah, I haven't lost the plot and signed up to doing this ultra marathon two weeks after doing the Ironman. I was actually asked several months ago, whilst I was heavily in Ironman prep, if I'd be interested in participating in. I think it was actually described as one of the toughest races on earth. So the first thing I did was I messaged my coach and I said, by the way, how long do you roughly think it will take me to recover from doing an Ironman? Bear in mind, I still hadn't even done a triathlon at this point. To which my coach said, just based off of him knowing how quickly I do recover, I would not be KO after the Ironman, put it that way. So in short, he kind of gave me the go ahead that two weeks after the Ironman, I would be able to participate in something. <laughs> so I got back to them and I said, yeah, sure. The saving grace was at the time, this race would have been today. I would have been doing it today. It just so happened that the event dates ended up being pushed. So I'm now in a position to say, that I've got 30 days to prepare for it. Rather than me saying, hi, I've just come back from an Ironman and like, bye, I'm, I'm jumping on a flight. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, the fact that I basically agreed to it prior to the dates being changed just really does show that this is the year that we're out of our comfort zone. We're, we're out there. <laughs> I've really wanted to share this with you all for quite some time, but I did not want to, in any shape or form, start thinking of the next thing before I tackled the Ironman. Now that that's done, I'm ready to start kind of, well, to prepare. I want to point out that I am not naive to the challenge. I do think this will be more challenging and more testing than the Ironman, mainly because time isn't on my side, which for the Ironman, I obviously trained months and months for. Yes, that has given me some sort of preparation. Of course, right now, I'm probably the fittest I have ever been. I've got the aerobic base, but I have not 
done any specific training for this event. It is in Egypt. During the day, it's gonna be around 28 degrees. And then at night, I will freeze my ass off. Extreme in temperature is gonna be one of the toughest things for me because I am the biggest wimp when it comes to the cold. So <laughs> I feel like the actual attempting to sleep at night that is something that we will get to when we get there. It was 28 degrees when I did the Ironman in Barcelona. I do cope relatively well in the heat, but again, when you're running for extended amounts of time, your body temperature is obviously going to go up. And I know that one of the biggest things about this race is trying to keep that body temperature regulated. You're gonna sweat shit loads. You're gonna be losing loads of salts. You're gonna have to stay hydrated. There's so many different factors and things that I don't have any real experience in. All of this is new. I have so many questions. I'm in need of so many answers. So already, if, if you guys can start sharing advice, it is all welcome. Just know that I don't think this is gonna be a walk in the park or a walk in the desert, like I, I'm i aware, this is serious, <laughs> this is serious. But it's gonna be an incredible adventure. It's an opportunity that not many people get to experience and if this year has taught me anything, it's to not wait for that perfect opportunity to come and just go for it. So I'm very excited, but as I said, we don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna do my absolute best to be at the start line in the best positional circumstances that I can be. So yeah, that's that. So as you're watching this video, I have so far done one long run and one run with this weighted vest. Shout out to Ben, because Ben has lent me this, which can go up to 20 kilos. I'm not going to be running with 20 kilos, however, the rough weight that I'll be carrying, I think it's anywhere between 6.5 kilos to 8 kilos, roughly. So let's just say 7.5 kilos, I need to get used to running with that sort of weight. On the note of running with weight on your back, probably not the best time to have the appetite that I have. <laughs> also, expending so much energy will mean I'll only get hungrier. <laughs> so I think the plan is going to be freeze-dried food and food which is like just highest in calories. Try and get as much as I can with it not weighing a ton on my back. I mean I did once carry a kilo tub of peanut butter up a mountain and if you think about it peanut butter is really high in calories. How many tubs could I Okay, next, we're gonna unbox some equipment that I do already have, but there's a lot for me to still get. Like I need to get a sleeping bag, I need to get pots and pans for cook, well not loads of pots and pans, we're not cooking a three course meal here, but a pot to obviously heat food, some cutlery, torch overnight, jacket when it gets cold. I've watched a couple of videos this morning and like there are people wearing like, like sun goggles because you can get major sandstorms. Imagine me taking my swimming goggles. Right, so I do have, by the way, I haven't even mentioned, Andrew is doing this with me. Basically, when I asked Andrew about whether or not I would be okay to do this, he fully jumped in and said, Oh, I want to do it too. <laughs> Andrew is no longer a coach to me. I mean, he is, but I fully see him now as one of my closest friends. Very, very excited to be doing this with Andrew. Also, first I'm flying to Switzerland. So then we both fly together to Egypt. I might vlog anyway. Carbon 200 trekking poles. I've never used these. <laughs> this is gonna be such an experience. Also have some gaiters. These go over your shoes so that sand doesn't go all up in them, which is another thing. I need to buy trail running trainers. because I've been looking at Hoka's, Ultra's, I've looked at Nike's, there's so many options and I have no idea. This is probably one of the most important things. I haven't even looked at the bag. So, the WAA Ultra bag. You know how people get imposter syndrome? <laughs> I feel like I should not yet be filming this, but I'm learning on the job, okay? It's a whole new world, this. Just like I was new to triathlon, 
I'm going to learn. And in 30 days time, I'm going to be a clued up ultra distance runner. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not convincing anyone right now, but yes. It's a bit high, isn't it? <laughs> I know, because obviously this goes down a bit. Water is the one thing that will be provided at certain checkpoints because like you're not going to be able to carry all your water for four days on your back. A multifunction scarf. I do also have a couple of layers and a jacket. In terms of timing, I would have rather it have been some time away from the Ironman just so that I could think about the Ironman day in and day out and not like move on to the next thing. But the way that the dates have panned out, I thought I would just take up this opportunity. I do also feel like my body has recovered so well and quickly from it. This is what my recovery has looked like every day since doing the Ironman. I've never ever seen recovery like this. You know, had I done the Ironman and I was in a bad way, I would of course have said this isn't right for me, but given how great I felt after the Ironman, I, I now know just how capable my body is. Again, I'm not underestimating how hard this is going to be, but having now trained, done the Ironman and gone through some really, really tough sessions during training, I know how much my body can, can do and can take. So, I mean, it is still completely bonkers, but I feel like I've done enough this year to, to back up me putting myself forward for this. If that makes sense. I think I'm going to have to film a let's pack <laughs> for this ultra together. Also, I'm aware that since I uploaded the Ironman race day video, I've mentioned a couple of times, if you see my Instagram, that the decision whether to participate in the World Championships next year in Nice for Ironman is still like a massive, massive decision for me. I'm going to put that huge decision on hold for the time being, run an ultra in the desert and then get back to that because the decision to do it or not will like completely determine what my next year will look like. I need to put a lot of time and thought into that. And I know that some of you have said, but, if you qualify for the world championships, don't you have to pay there and then? Correct, I paid. Whilst having in mind, I would rather regret losing money than regret not having the opportunity. So although you did see me register for the world championships in Nice, my decision is truly undecided. There's so much to unpack it with that. Hopefully you guys understand. Anyway, I now need to leave because I am doing a 75 minute run with the weighted, weighted vest and it's freezing out there so not very good for the heat acclimatization or is it acclimation one or the other if i say both then i've got one right that's heavy And just like that, I am back. That was my second ever weighted run. Although you can feel the difference, like running with a weight, like this is heavy, even just to carry. It's in a way, well, I'm not gonna say easier, but because I'm running at a slower pace, it's kind of more relaxed. So in a way it's easier, but then it's also harder because you've got the, the weight on your back and it's a bit uncomfortable but that's kind of the point the run in the desert isn't gonna be isn't gonna be comfortable like nothing about it is gonna be comfortable because it's hot a backpack on you you've got drinks filled none of it is comfortable and it's all gonna be kind of like on your back hurting your shoulders shoulders traps. it's Hello. gonna I've Born told them. Oh, what, told you're them. doing a little jog in the sand? A little jog in the sand. A little sand jog? Yeah. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Careful. Careful with my weighted vest. 
Or am I going to break it? If you trip over that, you'll go flying. Oh, and then I won't be able to do the marathon this summer. Oh, like you were going to do yeah, it. Was... Grant won't be spectating on this occasion, but it did not go unnoticed, the support you gave me. Even the comments. Mm. I know we've, we've, we've moved past and we're on to the next... Yeah, on to the next one. On to the next one, but... Have we, though? Have we moved past? No, we haven't. Um, what was I saying? Don't know. They're in a way, so I did a 5.29 pace, I think. That's quite fast for, like, a weighted trail run. Yeah, plus that was extra weight. Mm. Today I did 7 kilos. Yeah. Whereas the first run I did with 4 kilos, I'm adapting to having yeah. weight on me. Yeah. Grant really has just messed my trailer thought. Just you wanging on about a little jog otherwise. So I did a 5.29 pace, did nearly 14k, 1 hour 15, average heart rate was 144. <laughs> Don't know anything about trail shoes, <laughs> but here we are. So only 126 pounds, only. I'm currently on my way back from London. Just need to remind myself that I am meant to be training for an ultra marathon. How I just got roped into participating in a food challenge, I don't know. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun but I think it's probably a better idea I pick the camera up tomorrow and share with you my training tomorrow rather than today because I am currently feeling like a walking pastry <laughs> spoiler alert look out for that video pace 456 and I ran 1 hour and 10 minutes 14 just over 14k, 1 hour 10, aerobic. I am happy with that. That is my third run in prep for this ultra. I didn't do it with a weight, it was just golf feel. And it's been raining the entire day. A guy that was walking his dog did say, dedicated, I'll tell you that. And I said, heck yes I am. Also want to mention that obviously, yesterday I didn't train because I ended up changing profession temporarily. Just want to point out, because I know that the internet gets very worried when YouTubers do one-off crazy things. I just want to let the audience know that ingesting a kilo of butter has had absolutely no adverse effects on my body. Bowels are good. I am good. Pace was good. Breathing was good. Heart rate is good. I also slept the best I've ever slept since having the whoop. Yesterday was the first time I have ever got a 100% sleep performance. So if anything, this scientific experiment just shows there is a direct positive correlation between ingesting butter and performance. You laughing? Yeah. Why are you laughing? I tell people that. Oh, it's, it's true. That's what my findings show. You slept 22% more than your recent average. Nicely done. Anyway, the only thing I don't know is if it's going to be a boring video to only show like when I do my runs. I'd, and find, I don't... That, I'd find that boring. So shall I add anything else in this, to this video? Are they still there? Yeah. <laughs> Click to some food content. <laughs> Grant is in charge of these incredible looking starters. Mac and cheese balls and crump it with Welsh rabbit and ham. Who do we think we are having this as a starter? Okay. And then this is our little salsa. Yep. The best starter I think I've ever, ever eaten. That starter has just been followed, followed on by this lasagna. No one would ever be able to tell that I did a food challenge yesterday. <laughs> Don't smoke. Eat fingers. Good saying, catchy. <laughs> you know, who's that old lady in these tenders? Pat. <laughs> no, the old one. So they're a cop. These are elite though. No, they are. Okay, this is just a little snippet for YouTube, okay? Reunited! <laughs> With loads of good food. So, any guesses of what is happening to Steph right now? <laughs> no idea, what's going on? Write in the comments below. <laughs> First of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's up, Ellen? 
Should we get this one cut out? Or not? Hold up again. <laughs> On my forehead. <laughs> Will I be serious about it? Yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> is it out there enough? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, how, on on excited level, what are we? What are we at? Ten. Five hundred and thirty out of ten. Yeah, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll take my festival band off after Harry, I get the Iron Man Harry, tattoo. Harry said he was going to tattoo the band on <laughs> permanently. And then we might decide whether I get the. A little smiley face, which isn't a tattoo yet. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh, I've been waiting for this day for so long. You've had the warm up tattoo. <laughs> now, what are we going for? Now we're here for the. So this is what big we boy. were really here for. Yeah. Boy. yeah. She's here for the big boy. Yeah. I'm beyond excited. Close. I'm not looking because I want to just see it finish. Should I show you the guys? I'm so excited. Yeah, go on. They're going to see it before you. Go Obviously on. not. But... Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to edit the video and upload it. Because it oh, looking oh, solid. Harry is the man. Ah, Such clean wait. lines. I cannot wait. It's perfect. <laughs> Steph, the people haven't seen it yet. Do you want to show them? That's the straightest lines I've ever, ever, that, ever, like, You know from all the ones, ever. all the ones we were Googling, that is like the cleanest. Oh, thank you so much, That's Harry. all right. Oh, Harry, are you happy with your work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I genuinely love it. Oh, it's better than I even thought it could ever be. Like, how can it be even more perfect? Let's, <laughs> like, let's give them a good look. How? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing here, but let's go. These are just starters. Maybe Saturday there. Holy <laughs> macaroni. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks for the brownies. <laughs> peanut butter first <laughs> wagron which I'm about to devour in the car taste test oh my god rich chocolatey would you say would decadent, you say decadent? Mm. is that what you just said mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh good. my goodness Ellen nailed it yeah was just about to leave the house to do a three hour on my feet which will be the longest by far couldn't do this yesterday because yesterday was obviously tattoo day so we pushed it to today i was just about to go and do that and then i said hold up today i'm like seeing my family it just doesn't make any sense to do a three hour on my feet when i could do that on monday so instead i'm gonna do a 30 minute jog on the treadmill, then some weights. As you can tell, breakfast has just been had. It is Monday morning. I actually ended up getting two pairs of trainers. I'm gonna try them on and then from there see what's gonna be best for this ultra. I got these trail night trainers. Today I'm finally gonna do the super long run obviously i'm running with a weighted vest so no pressure on pace just time on feet the hokers have also arrived so personally i have always always run in nikes but there's a lot online about hokers being incredible for trail running protect an x2 and then what are the nikes they're the nike zoom x ultra fly trail okay one. so i'm about to go and do first run with the backpack which is currently loaded i'm also going to be attempting to not get the tattoo too sweaty who do i think i am with this 
Who do I think I am? Anyone that sees me, like, on the road is going to think... Actually, it looks a bit less weird than when I was running with a weighted vest, I think. Really heavy. Got drinks. I've got some gels in here. These bottles, though, they're just really all up in your face. Why does the bottle look like it's trying to pick up signal? Yeah, you're getting 5G. <laughs> Only 3G? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I don't know where I'm running. I'm just going to run for three hours. Yeah. Just yeah? Run. Just run. Okay. Go on, Boris. <laughs> I'm going. So we've just started. The water jiggling around is probably the most annoying thing. The weight is okay. 5.30 pace. Just going to try and not go any faster than that it's about time on my feet so a lot more of this to go slightly more comfortable than running with a weighted vest the priority is just getting used to running with weight and water jiggling up and down we're one hour in the first hour has absolutely blown my i think because it's just such a new experience for me the time goes quick because it's all very new decided to get used to water and the electrolytes just swishing around <laughs> 11.7k in averaging a 519 pace i think this is like a one sec. I feel like this is a nice, comfortable pace. Thank you. Thanks. I'm just going to keep going nice and steady and just keep remembering to not run any faster. We are nearly an hour and a half in, nearly 17k in, having a Morton gel, going to bring me back Ironman memories. Three weeks ago yesterday, I became an Ironman. Never going to be over it. Never ever going to get over it. So far so good, everything seems to be going just fine. It's getting really windy now, but thank you. 1 hour 53 minutes in, half a marathon down, 21.2k, pace 5.20. And if anyone is watching this wondering why am I so happy having nearly run two hours with six kilos on my back, it's because I remind myself always that I don't have to do this. I get to do this. It's a privilege to be fit enough to take on these extremely nutty challenges. We're two thirds down. I've got just over an hour to go. Let's go. <laughs> 26.7k in. Two hours 23. The only issue I have encountered so far with this whole setup is that although I clearly have so much drink left, barely anything comes out of it. I don't understand why. I don't know, some sort of situation going on there, but that one works fine. Seven k down. One hour thirty five to go. Final minute. Two hours, fifty nine minutes, and ten seconds. My form hasn't swayed from when I started. Maybe you can tell the difference, but. I feel like I'm running the same. Woo! 
We are done. 33.5K, average pace, 5.22. I picked a very, very good day to do this. Feeling very good. The only thing I'm gonna say, I've really struggled to drink out of this. I don't know why. Perhaps that's something I need to look at, like whether I get, you know, the squishy bottles. I'm happy with this training session. This is like by far the longest session I've done since the Ironman. Sorry guys, I was just getting a thumbnail. I wasn't sure whether to pretend like I'm running in a desert. I'm gonna end this video here. I have just come back from that long run. It's like the most perfect Iron Man tattoo I have ever, ever seen. I hope you're excited for the next adventure that we have coming up very, very soon. Love that this is, again, something that I've never done before. Even going for this long run felt different. It felt exciting because I was carrying... By the way, it was just over 6 kgs, so feeling good feeling ready to eat lots of food. Thanks so much for watching. Again, feel free to give tips, advice, anything you wanna, let's just chat, just just comment. If, they, if you made it this far in the video, please comment. 5.30, I'm still not ready to take off my Iron Man Festival band, okay? I'm not ready. Mm -mm. HDMS, MS, oh my God, the HDMS, the HDMS. If you've never heard of HDMS or H, HDMS, no, HM, HMDS. Why does that sound weird, HMDS?